Ironic UFC lightweight contender and former Bellator champion, Iron Michael Chandler. He said when he signed with the UFC, Daniel, he was not here for a long time, but a good time. And it's been a darn good time thus far seeing Michael Chandler compete the picture. It's been a good time for us. I don't understand how he's having fun when he's involved in those types of fights. But this guy's an absolute beast. I mean, he is a forward pressure face first fighter and those are always the ones that we enjoy michael chandler has the ability to just take him out but he would prefer to punch you in the face let's see how many he goes let's see how many he can land tonight as he steps to the octagon and plus athlete doesn't even begin to describe it let's see how it goes for michael chandler in another big spot tonight michael chandler has graced the octagon he is ready to go So here he is, DC, the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history, former two-division UFC champion Conor McGregor. And a lot of people thought maybe he wouldn't come back to the proven ground. He's got a lot to prove when it comes to his MMA legacy. And as such, McGregor returns to the octagon here tonight. When you talk about Conor McGregor, you're talking about a star that transcends mixed martial arts. We've seen a lot of people come and go, but no one has ever reached a level of Conor McGregor. And you think he's just a talker. No, there is a ton of substance to everything that he does. From the moment he stepped into the octagon, he said what he was going to do, and he eventually did it. From knocking guys out left and right to becoming a two-division champion, knocked out Jose Aldo, knocked out Eddie Alvarez. There's just too much to say about the notorious. And I'm glad you put it that way because he is this larger-than-life character, and I think at times people lose sight of just how skilled a martial artist this is. Elite striker, tremendous distance management, few move better on the feet than Conor McGregor, and they look to put those striking skills to good use yet again tonight as Conor McGregor returns. the tape for this lightweight scrap. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion of the world, and the former UFC lightweight champion of the world, the notorious Connor Herb Dean, our referee Ready, for this fight. one. Ready. All right, so here we go with the Ultimate Fighter coaches, Conor McGregor and Michael Chandler. I don't have to tell you this, champ, but Michael Chandler, part of the reason he signed with the UFC was with the hopes that this McGregor fight would materialize. And tonight, here we are. Yeah, Chandler's getting another big fight. You can win fights and you can be very fun. And even if you lose, you don't lose. Michael Chandler has proven that time and time again. He is an absolute powerhouse at lightweight, and he will look to impose himself on the notorious one, Conor McGregor. Well, he's looking for that left hand just out of range. Change, though, with it. All right, so a little bit of a pedestrian start to this fight about a minute in. Not much action on either side. Is that a feeling out process? What do you see? John, you just woke me up. <laughs> it's boring in here. Come on, get to work. Press the button. All those buttons. Bang on them and start creating some action. 
All right, so there's that power right from Michael Chandler. He talked a lot about mixing it up this week, but that right hand is his weapon of choice, and he found the button early. It is his weapon of choice, and I think a lot of his success is based on the fact that he's such a high-level wrestler. So when he level changes, people tend to drop their hands, and Chandler drops that big right hand on him. I think this is one of the best athletes in the entire UFC. Ooh, big shot to the body. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook, he's got the far side post. Take it for a while. Nice double leg, nice finish. Working off of his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. Chandler's got the full mount. Two minutes here to go in round one. This is where he wants to be. Foster's up and lands a brutal strike to the head. On oh, another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. He's got great kicks also. He needs to be throwing more kicks in this fight. He hasn't thrown. Oh, man, what a connection right there. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Big right hand. Well, informed speculation says he's going to try to set up another hook here. Chandler's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Lands the right hand over the top. When he gets close, he throws, he lands. All right, looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here. Final seconds here. Lands a big elbow there. In a very close round, a takedown like that might be the difference. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, let us show you all that was done in terms of the damage in that previous round. He has got a huge gash on his cheek. I mean, there was that shot right there. That one landed and opened him up. What a nasty combination thrown by his opponent. But this cut now is another issue to deal with. He's got one of the best fighters in front of him, and he's dealing with the cut on the cheek. All right, round two. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see. Oh, he lands the flying knee. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Circling to his right. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Staying busy in the clinch, lands a nice punch there. We go two minutes down here in the second round. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. level guard pass there as he moves into half court. You know the guy's going to his left on the pass, but you cannot stop him. He's tremendous at passing the guard. Just misses with the straight right. Michael Chandler is a beast. I think he's one of the best athletes we have in the UFC. He 
works extremely hard, and he's one of those guys that you just want to root for. He's got great power, but don't forget about that wrestling background that allows Chandler to get those hands to drop, thinking that you're going to take it down, and then up over the top, that overhand right now. Well, he hasn't thrown any strikes to the body so far in this fight. He has been a headhunter. And quiet knee to the head landing. Oh, big knee! Very active in the clinch here and lands a beautiful shot to the head. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Big elbow there, Lance. Oh, what a round. How good was that? All right, there's the horn, and what a round, champ. We gotta talk about the knockdown. When you knock somebody down like that, it gotta be kind of fun to strut your way back to the stage. I mean, you are 10 foot tall. When you can <laughs> drop another person with a strike, you are 10 foot tall. Now, the issue is he did not find the finish, and he used a lot of energy trying to finish that fight. All right, so a big round for him there, DC. We'll go back and look at some of the highlights. Big knockdown for him. We'll see if he can follow it up. You can see that he was flowing. Everything was working in accordance to what he wanted it to be. And at the moment that it showed itself, the moment that the opportunity arrived, he jumped on it, got that big knockdown, and now he finds himself ahead in this Ready fight. Ready fight? Ready. Third round underway. Countering with the jab here, but he saw it coming by the way. Nice job there to block it by Chen. Anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, that is a furious inside leg kick. You ever taken like a five finger to the inside of your leg? That don't feel good. Never mind a kick like that. A full, I mean, slapping your leg hurts. Imagine someone this size kicking you with a shin in the inside of your leg. You cannot take many of those kicks. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Well, I don't think his corner is going to step in here, but maybe the referee will take a close look. I mean, that eye is disgusting. His eye is done. He's been beat up. He got cut early in the fight, and he's just been targeted in that area. He has not made any, any changes to his defense, so he's continuing down this path. The doctor's going to take a look. Overhand block there by McGregor. Another big takedown. Conor McGregor gets up. He is back on the feet here. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. And again, keeping that knee on the midsection. And look at the post on the opposite side to give himself the correct space to land these beautiful knees. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and then come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Watch the referee right then and there has called a stop to the action. Looks like he's going to call on the doctor to look at the cut, and it is a pretty significant one, DC. Well, he's bleeding a lot, and the, the, the blood is going into his eyes. It's very difficult for him to see right now. Yeah, that's going yeah, to do it. No surprise there. The ringside position has called an end to the fight. You got to preserve the fighter to fight in the future, and uh, that cut just too big for him to continue through. All right, we're going to get you some replays here. I don't know, somewhat of a cheeky stoppage <laughs> maybe, DC, but a lot of damage on that facial area, and the doctor had seen enough. Yeah, he found the spot, right? He, once he got him cut, he just kept going there over and over. It was just constant, constantly putting damage on that cheek. That cut got so bad that once the doc was brought into the octagon, you knew he was going to call the fight. That's exactly what happened. Suit your guy's going to be busy in the back. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight. Declaring the winner by TKO, the notorious Connor.
All right, so Conor McGregor adding to his legacy in a big way here tonight. He had some doubters.